Hey, just thought we'd give you a quick update in our very messy workshop. But we are mounting all the fans to the DSP card. Put the plugs on the fans. Put the fans on the cards. Rob's over there putting the heat sinks on the cards. Look at that big stack of DSP cards. Imagine how much power is in all that lot, eh? Lovely jubbly. There's Booby over here putting Ooh. cards together. Got him doing a bit of soldering. Doing all right, aren't you, mate? Oh, okay, Not too mate. bad. We might mess that one up. Beautiful. <laughs> now, of course, while we're here getting the cards ready to ship out to you, the dev team are doing some final adjustments to the first version of the firmware that we'll ship with the card. Um, there's been some more updates with the live effects plugin that um, Sign Vibes done, has done for us. It's got some really, really cool extra features in there that I know you're going to love. And the performance aspect, uh, just using that master effect plugin is is mind blowing. Um, to think what the S twenty four hundred has has come from to what it can now do uh, with this card is is really exciting. And um, I've also been messing around with um, like this open source plugin, which utilizes uh, sound fonts, so that you've got some instruments um, built into the S twenty four hundred. Now. Um, it can essentially use any sound fonts with uh, a bit of fettling to the code, uh, but it's an open source plugin. And what I've been doing is there's, there's a great, I'm going to put all this in the forum post, but I've been getting excited about this sound font package that you can buy. Uh, the whole bundle is only something like 30 bucks. Um, but basically what this bundle is, is uh, one for one sound fonts of all of the old emu modules. Um, so if you remember like the Proteus series, Proteus 1, 2, 3, the Emu Orbit, the Emu Planet Fat, um, the Emu MoFat, uh, the Emu Carnival, World Sounds, Proteus 2000, all of that stuff um, has been re-released and you can buy them in sound font form. Um, and I've kind of hacked this open source plugin um, to get all of the patch names for those sound fonts so that we can put them in the S2400. Now, due to licensing stuff, I'm not allowed to bundle those sound fonts and I'm not allowed to license them, which is what I tried to do uh, originally. But their license, their master license, doesn't allow them, unfortunately, to sub-license to me for inclusion. So, um, but like I said, it's like 30 bucks and you can essentially, you're adding like 15 um, of those 90s powerhouse uh, rack modules into the S2400. Now, if you're an older school hip hop or house guy, you're gonna know all about those modules because the, some of the sounds on them are just incredible. Like they're, they're like, you can just go through the presets and you're like, oh yeah, I know a record that used that. I know a record that used that. Um, of course, there's, now the, the beta testing that we've done, I've done a lot of beta testing myself, of course. Um, but unfortunately, the, the proper original beta test team that we wanted to use, I couldn't send these cards out because late, late on, I ran into the overheating issue, which, of course, as you know, that's all been taken care of. It's no longer an issue, but it did delay me getting cards to the beta testing team. So there may be, you may find um, a few more bugs than I would have liked. Hopefully not. I mean, the card's completely use, usable as it is. Um, but as I start sending these cards out, I don't want to delay sending these cards out to you guys that have pre-ordered them any longer than I have to. So I'm simultaneously going to be sending cards um, to the sort of technical beta test team. I know plenty of you are going to come on the forum and say, hey, maybe this doesn't work quite as well as I would like it to, or can it do this, can it do that? Um, but the beta testing team that are sort of a bit more au fait with doing bug reports and stuff like that are going to be getting these cards simultaneously as well. So, um, like I said, I think the card's pretty awesome as it is, but inevitably in the first version of a firmware that's released to the public, there's always going to be some unforeseen stuff. So just try and go easy a little, on me a little bit. Um, I have to also finish that forum post. Uh, I've done like a Google uh, Docs, Google spreadsheet um, of a bunch of, a whole bunch of plug, too many plugins uh, that you don't need to fill up your machine with, but testing them to see what works, what doesn't work, the limitations of certain things. Um, as you know, it's going to be bundled with Air Windows and kind of some stock plugins that are like freeware plugins. There's uh, there's 200 and something plugins that it's shipping with. Um, which is more than enough. And of course, the, the, we've spent a lot of time developing our own live master effects.
plugin, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I'm really hoping to maybe start shipping either by the end of this week or early next week. And I think these will be getting their first firmware burnt onto them and boxed up and out the door. Again, thank you for your patience. I'm really sorry for the delays that have been incurred so far. A couple of unforeseen circumstances, probably oversight on my part. Well, definitely oversight on my part. I apologize. Um, but um, I really, really can't wait to get these to you and see some of the demos that hopefully you're going to send us and uh, some of the awesome stuff. All right, um, be on your way to you soon. Oh, what do you think about this, by the way? Bye. The other thing that you're then going to start getting sick of uh, hearing me talk about is the Caladan, which I'm really excited about. These are all the three different versions of the prototypes that we've done so far. Um, of course, r rapid uh, ramp up on development of this. Most of the S2400 DSP has kind of um, informed um, and, and will we'll reside inside this machine as well. Um, the cards, the voice cards, the, the stock voice cards have already been sent off to mass, uh, mass production. Um, so preempting a lot of that stuff. Um, and really then the only things that we've got to finalize apart from firmware stuff is the main board and the enclosure. The enclosure is actually fine and done. But at the end of the day, before we send this to mass, mass production, um, we've got to make sure that the silk screen, the, the graphics that we've printed on the machine for the buttons is actually what we want and is what makes the most sense. Um, sorry that the updates about this have been thin on the ground. Of course, just for the past few weeks and a couple of months, really, we've been really focused on the getting this DSP card out and just sort of clearing, clearing the project backlog. Um, but you're going to start hearing a lot more about these babies very soon. All right. Thanks, guys.